I just came across this video of what Prophet Obat N just said about the late Prophet T.B. Joshua. Honestly, this is touching and mind blowing. Let me know what's your time. Let me just like watch the video and listen to everything Prophet Obat N just have said about the late Prophet T.B. Joshua. Please do me a favor, share the video, and also share the platform, share with your friends and loved ones. God bless you as you do so. Watch this video. I have good news for you. This revival you see will not be aborted. I remember um, as a young man, I was in um, Manchester and I remember getting a call and I checked my uh, number, I did not know what that phone call was and where it was coming from. And and from there, I get an invitation. I needed to be to be in Nigeria, and on the call, I realized it was Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua. And with a few other white ministers here, maybe three of them, four, four of them, including a medical doctor, made our way to Nigeria. And I got to Nigeria and ushered into our residences and we got in there and, um, you know, just video after video of the extraordinary men, T.B. Joshua, was and is um, and, and just being in that location and I remember I took one lady from Manchester who had um, liver cancer uh, she had come to my church and we were doing like healing services like every month, like once every month. We called it emergent services those days, I believe, Pastor. Um, and it was actually fashioned after T.B. Joshua because it was just, he had an uh, emergent section. We had an emergent area. Um, there was no time to teach anybody faith in order for them to believe and then get to be healed, which we were supposed to do at that time. But because... Prophet T.B. Joshua has an, a plethora of a uh, um, group of people that come to, to his ministry to seek help. He then created what is called the emergent section. That means we don't have time to teach you any faith. So when you get into the dormitories and, and the hostels, you are shown video after video and you develop your faith from there. And you hear the word of God from those videos. And I remember just uh, sitting there, chairs in the in the auditorium. It wasn't even a service day. I just left all my um, hotel room, or rather hostel, and got into the auditorium where a few people were praying, and some were just eating in the balconies. You know, you know, visitors. They have got their own rules. And suddenly, because I had not met him, suddenly I see people spitting in even the food that they were eating. They just, just out of respect for something. I'm thinking, what happened? And everyone is hiding their drinks, not hiding, so, you know, just putting them down. And, and I looked and I see Prophet T.B. Joshua coming. Okay? And when that happened, it was so amazing to say, what is really, really taking place. And I found it. This is, this is Prophet T.B. Joshua coming. And then the following day, we had another uh, service where I saw one of the bishops that I would not mention here with over 500 churches under him. He went there to see the power of God. 
as demonstrated by by tb joshua and he was pushed just tb joshua just put his shadow on the man we're talking about a huge figure here and he said look away he looked on the other side direction and he started pulling him with his own shadow do you understand what i mean one of the encounters then following day i had an opportunity to meet him i remember people were coming in and one by one coming in and and just talking to him and and then he would hear them he had a bell that he would ring uh to alert the the ashes that time is up for someone else to come are you getting this and i got in there but i was i wasn't like you know because the visitors were actually uh, on their last day going so he called me while those guys were on their way out to leave the uh, the place and go to their respective countries so i had still maybe four days there i was there for seven days and i remember getting there and i immediately covered his bell and i said you're not ringing it you called me we talk and he just started laughing very humble man trust me this is the reason why you hear me on many videos i always say if you have not won souls like tb joshua you have no right to oppose him you stand on no leg and you have no leg to stand on if you have not healed as many people as tb joshua you can't talk just shut up so, then i remember we talked and talked and talked and some of the photos that you have seen uh with me and him i believe i released only maybe one you you get some more maybe uh, in the days to come uh those things that really that conversation and also when i moved to zimbabwe he would call even before i started uh, miracle tv those who are in miracle tv know the history of miracle tv it was actually tb joshua who encouraged me to start miracle tv not only that not only like that and and one and called at one time and and called me and said look I'm paying two months of your TV bill for the first two months. Yeah. So we are um, we are not here by some chance. No, we stood on giants' shoulders to be where we are. So you can you can then understand a few things and i can't tell you some of the things that um they are too kind of dear to me and even if i try you won't believe it so i will not i'll spare you from hearing those things so i remember one specific thing where the bishop said oh look i'm seeing uh the man is so powerful I don't know how he's getting his power. Have you noticed that we normally don't believe in God? We believe the devil can show power. Mm -hmm. Anyone who shows power in the kingdom of God is actually a Satanist. That's exactly what we do. Then you start wondering, who are the men of God? And when you realize the men of God that are called the men of God are the ones with no scandal, no noise, no problem, nobody hating them, except a few papers. Mm-hmm. And it's usually they hate them for money. That's it. That's they never get opposed for being Satanist now. So uh, Bishop, that Bishop, uh, said we'll attend the, the service. So everyone who was there who was a man of God wanted impartation from TB Joshua somehow. If you notice, every man who is doing healing now is actually copying from TB Joshua. No, I mean like uh, deliverance rather deliverance is tb joshua are you getting this that's the main thing it's coming from tb joshua are you getting this 
then we we got into the whatever they were calling the emergency section all right and realized that in the emergency section there were a lot of men of god who had the um, things lifted and they were those placards were lifted uplift spiritual uplift we, which really meant um which really meant um spiritual kind of uh, what's the name impartation and this is what i kid you not this is what happened after pushing the bishop with his with his with his shadow right and the man is looking the other direction he pushed him there pushed him there pushed him back right here this is what he did then he looked on the wall on the wall you know there's this alley way when you get in if you have ever been there you understand that the when you walk into the service, you've got this, this alleyway way, there's got offices and then, all right? Then he went on the, on the, on the side of the, of the wall, right? Moved two steps forward. His shadow showing, went back twice, right? And the shadow is following, right? Then he went and stood there and the shadow was still there. Now, when, listen, there are things that don't, that don't mean anything to you. But when you see them, it is not the healing, the deliverance. It is a certain level of, a certain level of, uh, of God honoring a man than you honoring him. When you get to know it, that's when you understand these things are not easy as you think. I get so worried when the youth don't really understand that there is there is something going on in the spirit that you don't waste your time you actually use it right this minute the world will tell you let's just do something enjoy you know but there's a lot of preparation you need to really get your hands on preparation text time I, I tell you every time i'm a master at sequencing in other words i live a sequence life i have to say on monday i'm doing this on tuesday i'm doing this on it, it might not fall like that when it comes to 9 a.m 2 a.m but at least i will tell you this week i'm doing this and it will be done exactly i move with these guys they can tell you we don't walk in the dark the dark might be next year we are doing this by march i might not know which one it might be February, it might be March, but it won't go beyond March. I've set my eyes on the things that I want to follow. And I know exactly where I'm going at any given time. I never fail to get there. Are you flowing? I would never fail to get there. And then from there, some miracles, signs and wonders and things that I can't say with my mouth like this. Things that I would enter his office and see that I would never say. Then from there we had a series of peppers really angry at that relationship and they started saying, angel is saying this, angel is saying that. I remember one time I said to, to the peppers, if T.B. Joshua is a man of evil, like you people are afraid to allow him, because pastors in Zimbabwe wrote a letter to the government, to the immigration, that we should not allow T.B. Joshua in Zimbabwe. So I went on record and said, look, if T.B. Joshua is this evil, why don't you let him in and then you deliver him? <laughs> now. When I said that, Pepper started saying, Angel said that T.B. Joshua should be delivered in Zimbabwe. My point was still and will remain the same. If you really think to be Joshua is, a, is not a man of God, call him. Deliver him and see who will be delivered. <laughs> that was my point. That's my point. But also one thing you now know. So it was a painful thing last night to hear that T.B. Joshua has passed on. Very painful. To hear uh, he's dead, that tells you one thing. 
death knows no personality. You're not big enough. You're not holy enough. You're not clean enough. Death knows no personality. You can go to anything that you, you can do anything you want to do. Yes, do what you like and what you love. I get it. But always have a purpose. Why are you doing the things that you want to do? Have a purpose. Where am I going with this? I'm sure you have heard everything Prophet Obatunje have to say concerning the late Prophet T.B. Joshua. I personally don't know why a lot of people hate Prophet T.B. Joshua, but that's why we are all entitled to uh, pick or select the people we want to uh, associate with and all the rest. But I will encourage us that it is not nice, it is not fair, it is not right, especially as a believer, for you to be hating anybody. The Bible encourages us that we should love everybody, we should love our, our neighbors as much as we love ourselves. It is important for us to, to understand all that. Prophet T.B. Joshua is one of the people that I, one of the prophets that I watch his prophecies and they were so accurate. They were so accurate. I don't know why people hated that man. Some people hated that man. But it's where well. he has uh, left it. So we pray that his gentle soul rest in peace. But you see, another prophet I love so much is Prophet Robert Angel. I have followed him. I have watched his videos, listened to his prophecies. Honestly, his prophecies are very accurate. And still, people, people don't really like him. But I don't understand why. But... All I'm going to say is that we should just remove hate from our heart, remove anything like envy, remove any negative thought from our heart and try as much as we can to love these people. Instead of hating them, if you feel they are not doing the right thing, they are going astray or something, pray for them. Hating them is not going to change anything. But I just want you to know that hating on your brother, hating on your sister, you might be wondering why I'm saying brother and sister. It is because as long as you say you're a Christian, you are, you, you are a born again believer, you need to understand that we are one in Christ. We are brothers and sisters in Christ. We are one family we should be one happy family if your sibling that your parents gave birth to they do something wrong do you hate them do you uh, cast them away you pray for them you encourage them you you teach them if they need be so you they can become good people if you feel that these people they are doing things that you don't like or they are going in a way you don't like or they are uh, going through like they have thought some about something that you feel okay this is an error if you can call them on phone if you cannot call them on phone you can as well be praying for them for the holy spirit to at least reveal to them and speak to them coming out to criticize them condemn them hate them convince other people to hate them convince other people to turn against them is not the best we are one in christ let love reign let love lead bible say oh no man nothing but love this is all i have to say i just encourage us to Keep praying for them, keep loving them, and let's all keep trying our best to depopulate hell, to populate heaven. And another thing, don't forget, if you're a Nigerian, pray for our country in Nigeria. There have been series of prophecies that some sad things will be happening in our country. Even as this protest is looming, people are planning to protest. Let God lead the way. Let it be peaceful. Let every, No life should be lost. Everything should be okay in the in the land and we pray that our country nigeria be healed and peace and order unity progress and growth be restored in the land in the name of jesus thank you so much for watching the video please do have to subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so whenever i post another video you'll be notified if you return and subscribe i want to say thank you to you thank you for always stopping by to watch our video we love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel may god bless you may god reward you in the name of jesus do me a favor share with our social media platform share with your friends and loved ones god bless you as you do so i'll see you in the next one you are blessed i have good news for you I am what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.